I started drawing Horrid Henry because the publisher asked me to draw Horrid Henry. I didn't know who he was. It was right at the beginning of the Horrid Henry saga. And uh, Orion, the publishers, asked me if I'd illustrate this book. So the book turned up and it was Horrid Henry and I, I thought it was just one book. I didn't realise it was going to be the dozens and dozens of books that Horrid Henry turned out to be. Um, but it was in black and white and it was a relatively quick job and I, I quite enjoyed it because the stories were funny. Dra drawing of him was um, quite instinctive really. I drew, I think I stayed with the first Henry that I drew. The first Henry that I drew became the Henry. So I didn't make lots of alterations, I didn't do lots of roughs for him. I just had to be careful that when I had drawn him, none of the other characters looked like him. When I was a child, I loved Rupert, and I, I feel little bits of Rupert's landscape coming in when I draw. I get Rupert's trousers tapered, they were to quite fat round his tummy and they went narrow round his boots. So Horrid Henry's do that. Uh, Rupert wore boots, Horrid Henry wears sort of baseball boots. So there are also, I didn't know that at the time, I wasn't basing him on Rupert. But these drawings that I saw when I was very young, they stick in the back of your mind and sometimes they wriggle out. It's um, nothing to be worried about, I don't think. I became an illustrator for the same reasons that a lot of illustrators <laughs> become illustrators, that is we really couldn't do anything else and tried other things. I tried being in advertising, I, I, tried, I tried being a steeplejack, I tried all sorts of things and I was profoundly bad at them all and I found that drawing was something I could do. So I moved towards drawing. But it's not easy to move from drawing to illustration. So I had to be an illustrator. To, so to, I had to illustrate something. And no, nobody knew me, so nobody gave me any stories to illustrate. So I had to write a story for myself. And that would have been about 35 or 40, 40 years ago when I wrote a story and illustrated it and was lucky enough to have found a publisher to have it published.